and here we are. So it is now OSCP week nine. Uh, I do have some explaining to do. I missed the last two weeks, weekends. Um, first weekend, what is it? Uh, Columbus Day weekend. I was out of town. Um, and then last weekend, I couldn't I couldn't even tell you. I'm not sure what happened, but um, we are now at officially week nine. I have completed the book. The book was done, honestly, maybe a week and a half ago. Um, so I got through it, did a... Uh, I'll be honest. I didn't do most. I did most of the exercises. I didn't. I missed a few, just a few of them. Uh, but I do plan to do those uh, eventually. But um, the other update is, I officially lost my 60-day lab access. Uh, was today? Maybe a few days ago. This week. Um, so I'm in a position now where I, I should either re-up another. 30 days, 60 days, whatever, however much I decide to pay for more time or uh, wait, do some other type of things, do Hack the Box, do Bone Hub, do some other studying, read some books. I, I, I did get some, some more InfoSec books and just give it a little time before I jump back into labs now. Something I did learn, uh, it is addicting. When I finally finished the book and I... I fully dove into the labs. I realized time does fly by, even though you spend four, five, six, seven, eight hours on a box, on you know, just trying to learn and, and research. Um, time flies by, but it still takes a lot of time. Um, truth be told, I have not rooted the box. I only really had before I lost access. I only really had. A little less than a week maybe five or six days um, which you know every day I spend on average four to five hours um, and I did learn a lot uh, I started with Bob I did some work on Alice uh, so whenever I gain access back or purchase my access I'm definitely gonna jump back on those I don't I won't get into specifics I don't know how much I can talk about those boxes um, I know exactly what I need to do for both um, but it was definitely, I put it this way, <laughs> frustrating at times, frustrating and fun at the same time. It's like trying different things, you know, doing windows, escalations or whatnot, going through steps, reading different things, trying, trying them was fun. Them not working was not fun, especially when you feel like you have it or that the, the solution you found or the, the thing you're about to try has to work and it doesn't and you, you can't explain why there's no rhyme or reason why. I mean, there probably is, you just either not, you know, uh, you just don't know what, why or how it's not working, but you feel like that's the solution or that, that should work. There's no reason why it shouldn't work. Um, honestly, I definitely, feel like I spent more time for my first 60 days I spent more time on the book I probably should have tried my best to go through it as fast as possible being that I only had a week after I finished the book to play with the labs um, and so I, I, I feel like there was kind of a waste but maybe not maybe I don't know I got through the book the book is done I haven't decided if I'm gonna re-up this weekend or re-up at the end of the month um, I know holidays are coming around, you know, family, vacation, things like that can get in the way. Um, I definitely don't want, I'm obviously not going to wait till January, till the new year to start up again because initially I planned on taking the test maybe March or April, but I feel like I want to move that timeline up to maybe January or February. So uh, I'm probably going to make a decision really quick, maybe within the next few days or probably today on on maybe re-upping for another 60 days for the last two months of this year, November, December. Um, I do have a lot of vacation time coming up. Uh, granted, I might be doing some traveling, but uh, for days that I'm not, if I'm just sitting at home, whatever, I, I definitely have something I could do. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm still excited. I learned a lot. Uh, I test myself. Uh, maybe my temperament can be better. 
Um, but that's, you know, everybody has their issues on certain things. I, t I didn't punch anything. I didn't break any equipment. Um, the, the, the worst thing that happened, actually, when I got, when I got ticked off uh, during that last 30 minutes I had access, it was about 7.30 uh, at night, and I had access till 8. Uh, all I did was turn off my computer, which I haven't turned it off in months. You know, I do my updates, but I turned it off, and it was off for a full 24 hours. So that's probably it, it's about as angry as I got. You know, I just turned it off. Well, I am excited about next weekend I'll be at B-Sides. I signed up for three classes, B-Sides, D.C., um, if you don't know about it, if you haven't heard about it, I'll put a, uh, a link in the comments about it. I signed up for a wireless hacking course, a blue team CTF, or a blue team, I don't know if it's CTF, something blue team. And then I signed up for a WMI class, uh, which is uh, I'm really interested about. Can't wait to do that. So if you're going to be in the area or you're going to be there, hit me up, look for me. Uh, you know, talk to me, let's link, let's network. Um, going to be exciting. I got, I bought this thing for the class. It's like some type of wireless card. I had one. I had this alpha thing. It's kind of old. I don't know if it works anymore. No, it's got issues, I think. So I just bought a new one. And I got some new books. I got, uh, I got one and two on the way. The Hacker's Playbook. Uh, this is three. I got one and two on the way. And I'm still going through this attacking network protocols. So you always want to be, if you're not sitting in front of a machine or a computer hacking, you know, on your free time, you definitely want to stay up to date, read, read a lot. Um, you know, when you're in the bathroom, whatever, do what you gotta do, read books. Reading is definitely fundamental. Linux magazines, you know, try to stay. I have more reading material than I can actually get through. Um, I have a shelf full of books, maybe about a quarter of them I haven't even touched. I'm the type where I see a book or, or something that I definitely want to want to educate myself on. I just I'll probably buy and shelve it. Um, but these, this hacker playbook, one, two, or three. Uh, as soon as the other ones come in, I'm definitely gonna jump on those in between my OSCP studies. So um, I do want to focus on on you know rooting more boxes. I know I was so close, man. I I feel bummed, but at the same time. I know I learned so much, and you learn patience, and you know what to try, what not to try, and so I know when I officially get my first box, it's, you know, I might not even be that excited about it. I'm just, it's just gonna be, you know, on to the next. You know, get it, boom, document it, whatever, and keep it moving. So, um, if anybody has any links <clears throat> or any other. Uh, things they want, resources they want to send me and I can put on the website. Uh, go ahead and send those in. Comment me, ask questions, subscribe, like, share. Um, I want to give a shout out to my Discord fam. I, I was uh, added, or I was, well, yeah, I was added to this Discord uh, Red Sec. They're uh, uh, off sec, not off sec, but they're they're a, a OSCP study group, and they've been very helpful. Uh, RAF757, I think, is on there. Yeah, he he's on there. Oh, not 757, I'm sorry, RAF. I'll put his, his link in the, in the thing. RAF75 is on there. You know, I have a conversation with him. There's some other guys that are really, really intelligent working on their OSCP or have it or helping out. So <clears throat> shout out to them. Shout out to my Facebook OSCP groups. I'm going to tag you on this. Um, and just keep keep on, you know, keep on studying, keep on keep on hacking. You know, that's what I, that's all I can say. I got my jacket on because it just came from outside and I'm still cold, so that's why I have that on. But uh, I think that's all I got for this week. Um, next week I'm gonna doc I'm going to definitely get video and pictures of B size. Uh, my video next week will probably be about B size and what I've learned there. I don't I'm not sure if I can really talk too much about about what's you know what I learned there or, or what's going on because it's a paid event. Um, I guess I'll find out the details when I get there. I'm sure you can take video and pictures, but I don't know how in depth I can go. Um, but I'll definitely share some some of my uh, experience at the B sides, and then um, also if you're in the DC area, if you want to send me any upcoming conference, uh, cybersecurity conferences or infosec conferences that I should look into or maybe join. Um, if you're in the DC metro area, just go ahead and send those to me. 
definitely want to check out a lot more of the area's cyber conferences. I'm, I'm new to this area, so I'm still trying to gather my footing and find out who's here, what's here, and all that jazz. So, um, Also, I want to shout out Nova Hackers. They are a, a meetup type that they, uh, they meet once a month. They talk about cyber issues and things. You know, I've been there once. I'm going to go again next month um, as I get more information. Uh, I think it's in my own type of thing. So, um, if, again, if you're in the D.C. area, you want to network with InfoSec-minded individuals or ethical hackers, reach out to me. Uh, we can meet up. We can link. We can do things. Um, and I think that's all I have for today. So I do want to thank you guys for uh, taking the time, checking me out, looking at the website, looking at, uh, you know, subscribing to my page. And I'll be seeing you next week. Thanks.